All right, Les Miles. Oh, you're going to love this. You think the show is good so far? No, I really don't. Well, you might be right, but you're going <laughs> to like this part. You're going to like the next four minutes. Les Miles, um, what do you want to start with, JT, on the uh, suspensions? Yeah, we'll roll with uh, got a three-player suspension uh, suspended for the Auburn game, and, and shockingly, they will be available for the Alabama game. But Les Miles had this to say. This football team uh, might well uh, uh, understand uh, what uh, distraction is. That being said, there's no real information about any specific player um, uh, that I'll address uh, at this point. It's a process that I go through. I, uh, it's, it's something that I review fully, and, and I'm you know, and just going to do it the way I've always done it. I promise you I took these things into account. The great representation of LSU, our football team, before I visited. So, yeah, yeah, I, uh, I kind of think this is the right way to go. That was his response about what the suspensions were going to. I have no idea what was said. Mumble. I just Mumble. liked him saying, yeah. All right, now this. Is that the guy from the yeah, Office Space? Remember? I sold you on a whole bunch of BS. The boss from Office Space. Yeah, I'm going to need you tell to us come anything. in Saturday. He didn't even tell us somebody was suspended, did he? No, he provided <laughs> no, but, no information. It's amazing that you can do that. You want to hear that one again, or you want to go to the other one? Go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. Okay. You have to so, don't talk during the JT, because if you talk, we miss some of it. So why? Ooh. Keep your mouth shut in there. Ooh, this is this big time. Fighting words. Watch out. JT can uh, can go gorilla on your ass. I don't want him to congratulate me. All right. While some looking, guy called in and said how to kill people, how gorillas kill people, right? It was very descriptive. Yeah. And <laughs> they cannot say it on air. <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, they're my people. And insult them. And This has not been played anywhere. I haven't heard this anywhere. This is JT's work. This is, this is again, from, the I guess, the post, not from the actual post-game press conference, because I was in there and he well, didn't say this. It's kind of like when you announce that you're going to run for office, like you, then everybody starts digging and finds other other ridiculous things that right. you've done. That's kind of what, when JT goes looking for Les Miles audio, he comes up with stuff like this. I just want you to know, we, uh, we show up in, uh, in Knoxville, Tennessee, and the uh, stadium is, is packed, and it's uh, packed full of a uh, great uh, minority of, of our fans and friends. And I can just tell you, we, uh, we, as we drove in, there was a big thong of, of people that uh, throng of people that uh, <laughs> I knew some of you guys would be thinking the wrong things back there. Uh, just what I thought. <laughs> Swimwear. <laughs> Oh my gosh! This guy, he's just a gift. Let's, we got to play that one again. This is less miles on thongs. <laughs> the gift that keeps on giving. Yes. I just want you to know we uh, we show up in uh, in Knoxville, Tennessee, and the uh, stadium is is packed, and it's uh, packed full of uh, a great uh, minority of of our fans and friends. And I can just tell you, we. Uh, we, as we drove in, there was a big thong of, of people that uh, throng of people that uh, <laughs> I knew some of you guys would be thinking the wrong things back there. Uh, just what I thought. <laughs> Swimwear. <laughs> Is that like somebody on the field yelling scoreboard? Swimwear. Why would they oh. think it's something wrong? That's exactly what he said. Thong. So, yeah, they would think that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You don't, if you say something and people think of it, then that's because you said it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, do you he misspoke. You tried to say throng. Yeah, it's not like he, he was talking thong. about yeah. his depth of the running back position and people thought about swimming. Or he said asset and everybody's like, he said ass. You know, that's a different yeah. word, right? <laughs> he said thong. So people immediately think of thongs. <laughs> the college football press conference. Do you still have the mix of Les Miles with the, um, Miss South Carolina? JT Love, we can just start calling for random sound. Well, that we have accumulated over at least we're here, a two-year though. period. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We can continue to talk. You got it. Since you got to Louisiana, first you had Katrina to deal with. Now you got the oil spill working its way to you. I'm just wondering how that's going about. What, what that's impacting y'all, and what kind of situation y'all are facing. Well, it's uh, the impact is more of a uh, you know anything anything along the because uh, some 
people out there in our nation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the shore and those issues are they're very they're very serious issues, and there uh, the impact is on the the uh, education, like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq, everywhere like such as and. Uh, but uh, you know, I, I I don't know that it's I don't know exactly uh, to what extent you know it's it's being. Uh, handled well. Over here in the U.S. should help the U.S. or, or should help South Africa. Managed and or mismanaged. I uh, have no no idea. The only thing I know, it's very sincere and it's it's uh, it, it affects more than Louisiana. It affects. So we will be able to build up our future. The ocean. What's what's the best Les Miles soundbite we have? Is it is it him talking about the oil spill? Him talking about swamp people, or the one we just found about thongs? I don't know. What do you got? What do you think, JT? The thong is not, not even funny, but it is because he continues. <laughs> if he would have just rolled right on, it would have still been like, a little bit funny. A little bit. I like the oil spill. Oil yeah, spill is hard spill. to beat. And then the thong, he just keeps laughing. Yeah. Like, should, I didn't loop that. That's him. Just, he just laughed nonstop for like 10 seconds. Maybe we should play like the I think it's either the oil spill or the thong. Maybe we should play those two when we come back from the break and let people decide which one's the best. The greatest Les Miles clip of all time. Here's, here's where we are with Les Miles, I think. I think that, I don't think it's necessarily calculated what he does, but I think he understands the character that he is. And so when things do happen, then I think he, he plays, plays into the role. Yeah, I think yeah. you're right. I think he's playing up the, the, the Mad Hatter element now. So you don't think he pre-planned? No way. You I can't don't think pre- he pre-planned the phone. You can't pre-plan the phone with the way he speaks. I mean, just the way he said... Like if you tried to write, the, he speaks we had riddles. A, like, we, yeah, we, we had a great minority of our fans yeah, in the stadium. I mean, how do you that. even circulate around that and end up with that phrase? Great minority. I've, I've never heard that. Great minority of fans. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's just so. I mean, it's I mean, it's true, right? But it's just no one would ever think to say that. Been having fun with this Les Miles stuff. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let's play. We've got Les Miles on the oil spill from a couple of years ago, right? year and a half ago or so? Yeah, at SEC Spring Meetings. Last year. And then we've got him. Uh, JT found something about, he was talking about the throngs of the the minority of fans. And I don't even know what he's talking about, but uh, he ends up saying the word thong. And, and uh, so people have been sending us messages as to which soundbite is their favorite Les Miles soundbite. Kerry Reagan on, uh, actually an email, lunch at 1045zone.com. Honestly, I didn't think he could top the oil spill, but I think it's his giggle after the thong comment that just cracks me up. Maybe my new fave. All right. So this is Les Miles on the oil spill. We got this about a year and a half ago when we were at the spring meetings. Since you got to Louisiana, first you had Katrina to deal with. Now you got the oil spill working its way to you. I'm just wondering how that's going about, what, what that's impacting you all and what kind of situation you all are facing. Well, it's, uh, the impact is more of a, uh, you know, anything, anything along the, the, uh, the, 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 the shore and those issues are, they're very, they're very serious issues in there. Uh, the impact is on the, the, uh, you know what is the natural resource of our country, uh, but uh, you know I, I I don't know that it's I don't know exactly uh, to what extent you know it's it's being uh, handled well and and managed and or mismanaged. I uh, have no no idea. The only thing I know it's very sincere and it's it's uh, it, it affects more than Louisiana. It affects just the ocean. It affects the ocean, and it is sincere. All right, now this is Les Miles um, talking about uh, the the fans, the LSU fans that went up to the game at uh, Tennessee. I just want you to know we uh, we show up in, uh, in Knoxville, Tennessee, and the uh, stadium is is packed, and it's uh, packed full of a uh, great uh, minority of of our fans and friends. And I can just tell you, we uh, we as we drove in, there was a big thong of, of people that uh, throng of people that. Uh, <laughs> I knew some of you guys would be thinking the wrong things back there. Uh, just what I thought. <laughs> Put it on them. Just what I thought. You guys are Swimwear. Swimwear. <laughs> Swimwear. The laughter definitely is is the key. This is a 58-year-old man. All right, which soundbite is better? So, 737-1045-866-492-ZONE. J- JT also is trying to track down. We never did play. We got some requests. For the dramatic reading that Blaine and I did of James Franklin and Mark Richt halftime, we did that on Tuesday, but I don't think we ever played it again. Daniel three four one seven writes: Les Miles' oil spill rant is literally what got me hooked on three HL about a year ago. 
Thanks, man. Andrew in Nashville. Hey, Andrew, what's up? Hey, what's up? I want to talk about the Les Miles insanity. Uh, I'd say one was, like, I'm a huge Tennessee fan. I was upset that they lost to LSU last year, but I kind of got over it when I listened to the press conference afterwards. That's right. We played that for, like, t- remember we played that tons of times. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. then I get on Facebook all the time because they have the Les Miles quote of the day. And then the uh, the last thing was uh, when they beat Florida last year at the end of the game, they asked him about the Mad Hatter, and he actually took off his hat and thought it was a reference about his hat. It was just, yeah. He's crazy, dude. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah, we got Tracy to ask him last year, I think, at the uh... – I think that is the game. She asked him about that on the field, and he and he played all like he'd never heard it before. Right. Which, again, goes with the whole James Franklin tells his coaches are in submarines. You know, it's like you're oblivious to everything else going around outside of your team. So he had to go ask his assistant what was really going on. Yeah, or the players. I'm sure the players don't know that. That's right. I, for, I forgot about that post-game press conference. We played that forever. Oh, yeah. I don't think we still have that, but that was outstanding. Randolph in Nashville. Randolph, what's up? Hello, gentlemen. Love the show. Just wonder if JT Productions could put something together with Miss South Carolina and Les Miles and kind of make some kind of mix with that. I think it would fit. It, this is as if it had, doesn't happen. We have that. Yeah, we played that. Yeah, I hadn't heard it. Oh. Oh. Uh, well, great one. minds then, Randolph. <laughs> yeah, JT has mixed that. That's one of our favorite clips. Yeah, yeah. I need to hear that then. All right, gentlemen. Have a good day. I was talking to Did we just play it today? Yeah, we just played it like 20 minutes ago. Yeah, I think I just played that like seven or eight minutes ago. (laughs) (laughs) Mount Mount Juliet. Matt in Mount Juliet. Hey, Matt, what's up? Hey, how are y'all doing? Doing well. Hey, my, my, I really want to know Clay's opinion on this. Clay says some crazy things on air, but he's obviously an intelligent and very educated person. Speak for yourself. (laughs) (laughs) Don't get carried away. I want to know how in the world has Les Miles been able to get to where he's gotten. He cannot be good on a job interview. He sounds like he's the most <laughs> unintelligent person in the world. And I'd just like to hear your opinion on that. I, it just blows my mind every time I hear him on a soundbite like that. Thank, Thank you, Matt. Appreciate I it. I think what he's not good at is spur-of-the-moment things, which is why on the sideline sometimes he's gotten caught uh, in, you know, kind of unawares. Uh, but I think he's actually really good at preparing. His team doesn't play – all the time. It, 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 I, I mean, when you watch LSU play, I don't think, oh, that's a really poorly coached team. Like, there are other times. I mean, I know they have had bad plays, but like this right. year, right. just look at this year. I mean, it's not like they have a ton of procedural penalties. Well, you or, know, at the beginning of last season, LSU fans wanted him gone. Yeah. Right. No, I said the game when he beat uh, Nick Saban, he, is, he outcoached Nick Saban and outgameplanned him and everything last year. Well, and I think he has a huge winning record. Yeah. But it's about X and him. He's good at X's and O's. His players so. love him. Yeah. Great personality. How could you not love him? I mean, seriously, because we only get this every once in a while when we find a soundbite. These guys get it every day yeah, in, the, you, in the locker room. Can you imagine how funny it is to be an LSU player? Like, how do you keep a straight face during some of his – what is his pep talk like? <laughs> oh, I, <bet> <laughs> <roll it. laughs> I mean, don't you know that some of those guys can do unbelievable impersonations of Les Miles, too? No doubt. John, next up. Hey, John, what's up? Yeah. I would this was about Les Miles. I just wonder if you know. I know that the kids that go to LSU is they're basic intelligent people. We all, you know, you know they have to be. But doesn't that embarrass them with some of his dumb statements? You know, when they when they go out there, and they so. got to think. Well, he just shut up. You know, well, it's not dumb no, statements. I, I don't think like, so. I think I think it's impossible not to just laugh. Like I mean, he's like the crazy uncle down the street. Well, and it's you don't hate him, you love him. Louisiana is maybe the craziest place. In the oh, SEC. It's crazy. You talk right. about their fans. I mean, there are a lot of eccentrics in the South, but I think it's probably fair to say that Louisiana has more crazy eccentrics than any state in the in the South. I, I actually don't think the players, are, I don't recall the players always have to answer questions about what Les Miles said. I think it's more about Les Miles and him asking the questions than the players. So, so I don't he, think it's really a It's not a distraction yeah, to not, them. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. so he unintentionally deflects everything. So the players don't probably. get a lot of, uh, of attention. Yeah, I mean, remember the press conference he held before the Tennessee the SEC championship game where he denied that he was going to Michigan? Yeah. He was worried about his damn fine football team or whatever he said? Yeah. God, he's awesome. How much more fun do you think LSU, the environment, I'll tell you, I know, is around him? They love him. You know, all the, yeah. well, the I mean, support the staff LSU and environment else. anyway in Baton Rouge for a game is unbelievably fun. But I'm talking I'm about, good. like, Nick Saban was the prior coach there, and he's an ass. 
Nobody liked. I'm saying it's just that's just blatant the truth. Nobody liked him, and you can be an ass and like as long as you win, you can be that right. But they, but it's not necessarily a good place to work. Like you're always on your tiptoes. You're worried about offending somebody. You're worried that he's just going to go off on you. Everybody down there absolutely loves Les Miles on a you know kind of interpersonal basis. He's generally a good guy. I don't think there's very many Les Mileses in college sports. I think we're losing a lot of those characters, and it's becoming much more corporate. Robotic. Yeah. I mean, the Urban Meyer corporate look, the uh, Nick Saban corporate look, it's like... You well, know, where's Derek Dooley fit in that? Derek Dooley is pretty entertaining, but he's definitely got a corporate air about him to me. Yeah, he's both. Yeah. he's kind. Of, he, he does a good job, I think, of finessing that line, but I think that a because lot of them... He is so smart, and he is really funny when he wants to be. Yeah, I think but he'd he be could also go down the if the he would actually path, if though. he would actually win, I think he would be even better because then he would loosen up even more. I think, but right now, you call this funny when he talks about those history lessons and all that stuff because I I don't, I don't know even know what the heck he's. I don't about. know if it's funny, but it's, it's definitely funny. not it's, a cliche. It's entertaining. Right. Whereas most of the guys, it seems like to me, are sticking to company line. Yeah, they're boring, just like a CEO would be. You know, like how often does a CEO actually say anything unless they founded the company? If you're a you're a politician, basically. 104.5 The Zone. I, I have a little uh, tradition that, that humbles me as a man that uh, lets me know that I'm a part of the, the field and part of the game, and and it's the very the very bottom as well as the very top. So, yeah, yeah, it's going to be all over the internet. You know what? You should have seen some games before this. I think one thing, the grass at Tiger Stadium tastes best. <laughs> you got to be honest, right? Welcome back in. This group from Tyler's Ridge on 1045 is home. Yeah, that's good. It's funny that nobody else would ask that question. So I get this is one of those things that's cool about the way that Twitter and uh, really Twitter works is that you can get tipped off during the game about what's going on. Somebody shot me a YouTube video that somebody had already put up of Les Miles eating grass. While you're sitting there in the press box. While I'm in the press box watching Alabama LSU last year. And so I knew to ask Les Miles, I was like, you know, if he had, if he had lost, I probably wouldn't have asked it. Uh, but you know, he's in a good mood and, uh, that thing's just taken off. I mean, they've done the spoofs on college game day. I mean, people chant eat the grass now to Les Miles when he goes to public events. See, and that's the kind of thing I think he understands what his character is, and he just rolls with it. Yeah. That's the kind of thing. Now, about, you know, for about a year, huh? Maybe yeah. longer. It's almost exactly a year. Because it was, it was the first week in November when they beat Alabama last, uh, or thereabouts, I think, last uh, last year. P. Smith, 1162 on Twitter. Less eating grass is a hard one to beat. That is true. Good job by JT tracking that down. No doubt. Mr. Mays in blue. That guy had such a good idea about Miles and Miss South Carolina. I think Clay Travis should start a website called Outkick the Coverage. <laughs> true. From the Tuscaloosa News, you Alabama. Listing, you know. That's true. Alabama, but it's funny because we had just played it. Yeah, we did. Leonard, Baron Plains. What's up, Leonard? Hey, man. Uh, I'd ask how y'all's doing, but I've already heard you good. Um, We're good. You know, I was going to talk about the Louisiana Purchase because that's just kind of what we talk about. Um, but if you gave less miles... The um, and by the way, I've uh, been to a Titans game before, so I'm qualified to say the things I'm going to say. Um, if you give Les Miles the uh, lyrics to Friday, the song Friday, and just had him read them, it would sound like something Les Miles would say. For example, sitting really in the front seat, sitting in the back seat, I got to make up my mind which seat can I take. It's Friday, Friday. <laughs> I uh, got to get down on Friday. Uh, everybody's looking forward to the weekend, weekend, Friday, Friday. Uh, getting down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend. Does wow. that, is that, is that, that makes miles? so much sense because that's exactly how I feel when I'm listening to him. Yeah, and then Thursday comes say? before Friday, and then Saturday <laughs> comes after Friday. Wow. And then Sunday is a day right after Saturday. That's so, it. I mean, tomorrow is Saturday, and Sunday comes after words. I don't want this weekend to end. And I think that's something if Clay could get a chance to ask Les that, if he wants this weekend to end, see if he just says tomorrow is Saturday and Sunday comes after. What kind of music do you think Les Miles listens to in his car? Wouldn't you love to know Les Miles' music collection? I just it's ridiculous, just absurd. Like Lawrence Welk stuff? I don't know. I mean, I think it would be just there would be no rhyme or reason. Like it wouldn't surprise me if he had a Snoop Dogg, if he had Doggy Style in there next to – 
like Pavarotti. You know, I mean, like opera to I just I just don't. There's no, nothing could surprise me about that. Man. Do you think you could if, next LSU game you go to? Could you take the lyrics to Rebecca Black's song Friday and just put them at the podium and have him read them? Do you think he would? He's pretty funny. He would do just about anything. I think he's gotten that was a lot. perfect by Lady. That was that. Yeah, that was, was a great, great call. Great, great way to end the week. I think he's gotten to like me. Like when I asked him about the extra point, there was a glimmer of, you know, oh, this is my this is my guy again. I'll tell him where we're going here. I'm only there for the big games. So, you know, I don't see him for Northwestern State, things like that. 